Welcome to the Storage and System Cleanup Module. By the end of this module, you should be able to perform storage and system cleanup tasks. Although plenty of storage space typically exists, it is a good practice to check available storage capacity before downloading a new Junos OS image. You can view device storage details with the CLI Show System Storage command. Sometimes a Junos OS device's storage becomes cluttered with old log files, old software versions, or temporary files. You can fix this by forcing rotation of log files and searching through the system for files to delete in the CLI or in the shell. An easier way to perform this task is to use the Request System Storage Cleanup Operational Mode command. This command frees storage space by rotating the log files and then proposing a list of files for deletion that are no longer required for operation. You will be prompted for confirmation that the files should be deleted. You can also issue the Request System Storage Cleanup Dry Run command to view a list of files that would be deleted by Request Storage System Cleanup command, but you will not be offered the option to actually delete them. This is useful if you just want to see what potentially unnecessary files are stored on the system. Sometimes you want to take a system out of service and remove all potentially sensitive information from the file system to prepare redeployment elsewhere. In particular, you may wish to clear all log files, certificates, configuration files, passwords and password hashes, secrets, private keys for SSH, local encryption, local authentication, IPsec, RADIUS, TACAX Plus, and SNMP. The Request System Zero Eyes Operational Mode command performs this function by unlinking all data files by unlinking the files from their directories. To make the files unrecoverable by scrubbing the media, use the Request System Zero Eyes Media command. The device will reboot and be returned to factory configuration. Welcome to the Junos OS Upgrade module. By the end of this module, you should be able to perform the Junos OS upgrade. You can use the Show Version CLI command to determine the current Junos OS release on a device running Junos OS. The command's output includes additional details about the software packages and the processes included in the Junos OS release. Some of the common Junos OS packages and their descriptions are the Junos OS kernel, which is the kernel and network tools package. This package contains the basic OS files. Junos network stack and utilities, which is the routing engine package. This package contains the routing engine software. Junos packet forwarding engine support, which contains the packet forwarding engine software. Junos Online Documentation is the documentation package. This package contains the documentation set for the software. And Junos OS Crypto is the encryption package. This package contains the domestic version. The Junos OS naming convention format is displayed here. The description of each field in the naming convention format is covered in three parts. The package prefix field is a combination of a standard prefix, platform, and a product designation. Examples of a prefix include JInstall, which is used on EX series and QFX series, JInstall EX, which is used on EX series, Junos Install, which is used on MX and EX devices that support Junos OS with the upgraded free BSD, and Junos SRX which is used on SRX series. The actual package name might vary between platforms within a Junos OS product family. Always ensure that you download and install the proper image for your device. Note that for more information about Junos OS software package names, refer to the Juniper Networks Tech Library website. You can access the website from the reference links document. The ARC field indicates the CPU architecture of the platforms. Values include x86 for Intel and ARM for Advanced Risk Machine CPUs. The ABI field indicates the application binary interface, the word length of the CPU architecture. Values include 32 for 32-bit architectures 
and 64 for 64-bit architectures. As for the release field, Juniper Networks releases a new version of Junos OS, typically each quarter of the year. Junos OS releases are numbered using the form m.nzb.s, where m.n are the main and minor release numbers, for example 21.1, which indicates the first quarter of the year 2021, that give the Junos OS version. The Z denotes the release type, B is the build number of the product, and S is the spin number of the product. The most common type of release is the R release type. The R1 release is the first revenue ship or FRS release. The R2, R3, and following releases are maintenance releases. Other release types include B for beta release software, S for service release software, which is released to customers to solve a specific problem. This release is maintained along with the lifespan of the underlying release. The service release number is added after the R number. And I for internal release software. These are private software releases for verifying fixes. For example, Juno's SRX SME 21.1R1.11.tgz indicates a Juno's image for the SRX 300 device that is associated with version 21.1 R release build 1, FRS and spin 11, and Juno's install MX X8664, 20.3R1, S1.2.tgz, indicates a Juno's OS image for the MX devices that is associated with version 20.3, release 1, service release 1, and spin 2. The addition field is null empty for standard domestic images. For jurisdictions with limits on data plane encryption, this field is set to limited. Domestic versions support strong encryption, whereas export versions do not. A third less common edition, called Federal Information Processing Standards, or FIPS, exists that provides advanced network security for customers who must comply with and operate in an FIPS 140-2 environment. Extension indicates the file type. Some example values include TGZ and IMG. All Juno's OS packages contain digital signatures. The Secure Hash Algorithm 1, or SHA-1, and MD5 checksums. A package is installed only if the checksum within it matches the hash recorded in its corresponding file. The actual checksum used depends on the software release. Before upgrading Junos OS, you must download the appropriate image for your device from the Juniper Support Download site. You can download Junos OS using a web browser or from the device running Junos OS itself. Regardless of the download method you choose, you must have a valid service contract and access account. To download the Junos OS image on your local host through a web browser, Navigate to the support page on the Juniper Networks website. Log in. Select the desired image and accept the request to begin the download process. Note that you can access this website from the reference links document. To download the image directly on your Junos OS device, use the URL which is temporarily generated based on your request for 15 minutes on the Juniper Support Downloads page. You can select the version of your choice. Accept the End User License Agreement, or EULA. Accept the temporarily generated URL, and then download with the File Copy command. You can access the website from the Reference Links document. An example has been displayed for you. Note that you ensure the URL is enclosed within quotation marks. Also, ensure there is sufficient free space on the device. It is because individual Juno's OS images are designed for specific platforms running Junos OS. You must ensure the correct image is downloaded. Use the Request System Software Add Path slash Image Name CLI command to upgrade Junos OS. You can specify a local path and file name or a remote FTP or Secure Copy Protocol or SCP Uniform Resource Identifier or URI that contains the required Junos OS image to download and install. To activate the new software, 
you must reboot the system. You can perform the system reboot as a separate step, or you can initiate it by adding the reboot option at the end of the request system software add command. Once Juno's OS is installed, you are notified that the system is rebooting to complete the installation. Use a console connection to view details of the upgrade process. Watch out for any error messages indicating a problem with the upgrade. Devices running Juno's OS execute binaries supplied only by Juniper Networks. Each Juno's OS image includes a digitally signed manifest of executables that are registered with the system only if the signature can be validated. Juno's OS does not execute any binary without a registered fingerprint. This feature is designed to protect the system against unauthorized software, an activity that might compromise the integrity of your device running Juno's OS. When upgrading Juno's OS, you reference the image name and a local path or a remote server within a URI. You should store the Juno's OS images copied to a device running Juno's OS in preparation for an upgrade in the slash var slash tmp directory. You can delete the Juno's OS images stored in the slash var slash tmp directory when you perform the file system cleanup operation using the request system storage cleanup CLI command. To determine which files are cleanup candidates, you can issue the request system storage cleanup dry run command. This command displays only the cleanup candidates. It does not delete any files. As the example indicates, when an upgrade is performed, the system must be rebooted for the new release to take effect. To save time and keystrokes, you can use the reboot option when performing the upgrade. Once Juno's OS is installed, you are notified that the system is rebooting. To complete the installation, use the console connection to view details of the upgrade process. Watch out for any error messages indicating a problem with the upgrade. Note that once the system has rebooted, you can issue the show version command to verify the Juno's OS release. You can also review the boot messages by issuing the show system boot messages command. A unified in-service software upgrade, or unified ISSU, enables you to upgrade between two different Juno's OS releases with no disruption on the control plane and minimal traffic disruption. Unified ISSU is only supported on dual routing engine platforms. In addition, the Graceful Routing Engine Switchover, or GRESS, and Nonstop Active Routing, or NSR, must be enabled. Note that NSR is not supported on all the Juno's OS devices. Refer to the technical publications for platform and protocol support details. The Primary Routing Engine and Backup Routing Engine must be running the same software release before you can perform a unified ISSU. You cannot take any picks online or offline during a unified ISSU. The high-level process steps for performing a unified ISSU are 1. Enable GRESS and NSR and verify that the routing engines and protocols are synchronized. 2. Download the new software package from the Juniper Network Support website and then copy the package to the router. 3. Issue the request system software in-service upgrade command on the primary routing engine.